Hey guys, I am Ronnie and welcome back to another Kim Mode video. As you can see, uh, Mendez has gone to the MLS and this is a different kind of episode. It's less of a commentary episode where I just commentate over exactly what's happening and more of a, a flashbacky slash like retrospect video where we go back on the performance of Mendez as this is the downfall of Thierry Mendez. And in his MLS debut, Mendez would perform well and make sure that everybody would know about the signing this chance for LAFC as he would score the first goal of the game but that is not where his goal scoring would end from the corner he was able to score his second and get a brace for himself and he was off to a flying start but of course there would be some chances that did not go in for him and obvious in typical Mendes fashion he would have to score a hat-trick as we all know, Mendez loves a hat trick. And the other team, we got a goal. It was obviously not enough. It still ended as a 3 1 victory for LAFC. And Mendez was off to a good start. And you may be wondering yes, he's gone to MLS. That is the downfall of Mendez. But that is not where it ends. Not every game was so positive for TA Mendez. As in this game, they went 1-0 down to LAFC, LA Galaxy, they are LAFC. This was uh, a tougher game for Thierry Mendes. Didn't get a goal in this game, but that did not mean LAFC didn't score. They did get a goal and it ended as a 1-0 draw. But second game, no goal for Mendes. And third game, Mendes would have his chances. And he would be able to start one away. A beautiful finish to be fair to make it 1-0 but yet again it was not enough for them to win and they lose 2-1 and again Mendez there we see that the football started to leave him as he has missed a chance that young Mendez would never miss and that trend will continue throughout the video or especially throughout this game this was not a good performance by Thierry Mendez at all a lot of bad shots and it cost them as LAFC ended up losing. And the next game though, Mendes was able to get back on the score sheet after stealing the ball off the defender and he got the only goal of that game. In the next game now, it is a bigger game. It's in the cup, uh, the US Open Cup and it is against Orlando City. So this one will have more of a commentary aspect to it. Okay, there. Mendes coming out of the stands and Orlando City would get the first chance and the first goal but it would be a second goal that would be enough to knock out LAFC and both teams in semi-finals lost 2-0 and in the next game Mendes would score again and yes I know the lag is here but don't worry it does go away it is not very much in this video it's just here in this beginning bit Mendes gets his brace and another three points for LAFC. And like I said before, this is the downfall of Mendes. But of course, Mendes still has his moments where he shows his true quality and skill. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it's a great finish. He holds off the A uh, corner kick would be enough to destroy LAFC's hopes. And Mendes' goal was for nothing. As yet again, LAFC go down and lose another game. Cross into the box. Mendes scores another goal. And yes, there are a lot of goals. In his time at LAFC, but definitely not what you would expect from a player of his quality. Especially in a league of this quality. But another goal for Mendes gets his brace. A bit of a mess of the header there. But it ends up in a goal, so everybody's happy. 
the next game, he will score yet another to double LAFC's lead. Another chance for LAFC Mendes from outside the box and he scored a good goal to make it 2-0 to LAFC and Mendes gets his brace. Back to the LA Derby. I mean I assume that LAFC and LA Galaxy are both based in LA because it has LA in both of their names. But anyways... It's LA Galaxy who strike first, but the shot is saved by the goalkeeper. <clears throat> LAFC, through ball. And it's a goal for LAFC, and this time they score first versus LA Galaxy. And it is. That's it, it's an edge. Mendez. Running with the ball. And as you can see, he has put on weight, but he will lose it soon enough, and there he has lost the ball again. And that just shows, at halftime, Mendes has fallen off. Mendes, a chance to score a goal, which he puts away easily, makes it 1-0, and that's 3 points. And Orlando City vs LAFC. At Ivy Lane, I doubt that that's the actual name of the Orlando City Stadium. Mendes's corner is headed into the back of the net, and Mendes does get another assist for LAFC. And it is a late winner, enough for LAFC to get three points. There's a full time whistle, and LAFC get their revenge on Orlando City, and they beat them this time. There's a look at the table as we enter the latter stages of the season. And it is Portland Timbers vs LAFC now. The last three games Mendes will play in the MLS this season. And it is Portland Timbers who attack first. And it is Portland Timbers who score first with an actually pretty decent goal. It is actually pretty good. It deserves replay. It's a, that, that's the level of goal. That was good. It was not an MLS quality goal. Well, the defending was MLS quality, but the finish was not. What a finish. But a disappointing day would not end there for LAFC, as Portland Timbers would go on to score a second after some really poor defending, which just showcases the quality of his teammates here in America. And this is not where Mendes wants to be, but maybe at this point in his career, it's where he belongs. But that's not something we want to hear. Next game. Colorado Raptors vs LAFC. It's away. And it ends as a 1-0 loss for LAFC. And when Mende signed for them. They were top. But they will not be finishing top. Of the Western Conference. And this is the last game. Of the season. LAFC versus The team in green whose name I've forgotten. Seattle Sounders. And Mendes could get his last goal for LAFC, which he does, and he equals the scoring. But the question is, can LAFC hold on and at least get a draw in Mendes' last game for them? The answer is a big fat no. Bless you. They lose 2-1, and Mendes will be moving on. No surprise to see who our cameras are focused on. It's his debut, he starts, and it's live on EA TV. Mendes' first game for his new club, Toulouse, comes in the cup against Clermont Fort, a team from the second division of France. And Toulouse are not very far away from that. 
And over comes the corner. In it goes! Unbridled joy as he opens his account for his new club. Well, that's the perfect start for him. That's a really good goal. Brilliant bit of play. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, not away properly. Must be, and a goal. Superb entertainment. It's Toulouse, and they take on Strasbourg. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Opportunity! Oh, he's done it! And it's a debut double to the delight of his fans. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Toulouse barely able to square past Clement Foot, but Mendez's contribution was enough to get the three points, and he will be remembered. And maybe he can become a legend there Mendes absent from the team of the year it's not shocking but it's it's sad and it's Toulouse in 13th place Mendes will be hoping to try and get them higher next game is against Strasbourg it's his debut in the French League as a French player himself it probably feels nice for him to be playing in the French League finally although he's at the ripe age of 29 Mendes threw ball which is enough to get the first goal of the game but Strasbourg and Toulouse score first oh Drongo. That goal was it for Mendes' debut in the French League for Toulouse in Ligan. And it ends as a 1-0 victory. Oh my days, the Minyamal just scored a goal against Monaco. Next game in the cup. And the first shot is saved by the keeper. And this time, Mendes faces a tougher contest and oh my days what a goal that Mendes almost scored there but the keeper able to tip it over the crossbar this game is a lot harder than the first game against come on foot so Toulouse will have to try their hardest to win this game and Mendes will definitely try his hardest as another shot by him almost goes in but it's over the crossbar And it's Montpellier's turn to attack. A referee's given it free kick in a dangerous, dangerous position. And Mendes will stand on the line to help the keeper. Could this be the goal that they're waiting for? No, it was. It was bad. It was a very bad miss. And Montpellier need to be more clinical. And that's exactly what Montpellier would be able to do as they would score the first goal. But would Mendes have anything to say about it? Toulouse on the attack. Mendes shot. It's saved. And it goes out for a corner. Now sending it in. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Mendes. 20 minutes to go. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Let's see about the delivery. Well, not away properly. Superbly read and executed. 
just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. This could square the game. And a goal! It's the level up. And I'll tell you what, that's the way to silence the fans. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. A brilliant late drama, and now an extra time to lose with a chance to finish it, but they are unable to, and the game will go to a penalty shootout. And penalty shootouts are probably something that a lot of players hate a lot. And this is where all the hard work over the rest of the 120 minutes can be undone. Montpellier scored their first penalty. Mendes six to second. And he scores. What a penalty. Montpellier score again. Can Toulouse score? Yes, they can. Same place. Montpellier. Same direction. Toulouse. Have to score this. And it's scored top right. Montpellier with the goal. Important under these trying circumstances. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. An expertly taken penalty to catapult them into the next round. Well, what a good penalty under a lot of pressure there. Excellent technique, you have to say. Well, when you see it again, the goalkeeper does everything right. Decides which way to go, he chooses the right way, but he actually dives over the top of it and the ball goes underneath it. He's really unlucky. And back in Ligan after uh, Toulouse's unfortunate exit in the French Cup, they play Stadren. And Mendes could get his first Ligan goal for Toulouse, but it's saved by the goalkeeper. Corner kick for Toulouse. And could this be it for Mendes? Of course it is. From the corner, a Mendes header. One of the most devastating things in football. And he opens the scoring. 1-0 to Toulouse. Mendes to get his second of the game. 2-0. To Toulouse and Stadren are 2 0 down, and they are looking out of it. A good finish by Thierry Mendes, leaving the Ren keeper with little chance to save. And a chance for a third for Thierry Mendes to complete the hat trick. Of course, he gets it 3 0 to Toulouse, and who would expect this? And they could top it all off with the fourth year if they win the ball back, which they do. Can they get a fourth to lose? Yes, they do. Brilliant finish into the top corner. And that is four. And Stadren destroyed in front of their home fans. Now, a lot more difficult is the game against Leon and Leon on the home side. And Toulouse would find this challenging. And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener and now they have it! It's going forward well here. It might be! Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So two substitutes to come on in one go. <laughs> After that disappointing game where Toulouse lost 2-0, they would play Montpellier 
and be able to exact their revenge on them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Goodbye. CB Hollow, seven minds will always follow for that short time of the Apollo went to the vex in a barrel. I'm out the king of sorrow. I don't know. Witness, I won't show. Like they call, I will blow. Disregard your zero. Being past tales like I've been a pay bro.